Imagine staring into the vastness of space where millions of miles of emptiness hide secrets older than our planet. In July 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope, floating silently in the void, captured something extraordinary. A chemical connection between two cosmic wanderers, Comet Swan and the interstellar visitor 3i Atlas. These aren't just chunks of ice and dust hurtling through the solar system. Their shared fingerprints, revealed through cutting-edge spectroscopy, hint at a story that could rewrite what we know about the universe. Could these comets be fragments of a shattered world from beyond our stars? Or are they carrying clues to something even stranger? Tonight, we're diving deep into the mystery of these interstellar travelers, exploring their paths, their chemistry, and what they might mean for our place in the cosmos. Buckle up, space enthusiasts. This is a journey you won't want to miss. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's blast off into the unknown together. Let's start with Comet Swan, officially known as C-2020 F8, which lit up the night sky in March 2020. Discovered not by a massive observatory, but by an amateur astronomer, Michael Matiazzo, this comet was spotted in ultraviolet data from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory's SWAN instrument. Matiazzo noticed a faint glow of hydrogen, a telltale sign of water ice vaporizing as the comet barreled toward the sun. By May 27, 2020, SWAN reached its closest point to our star, just 64.6 .6 million kilometers away, dazzling observers in the southern hemisphere with its glowing tail. But SWAN's brilliance wasn't what grabbed scientists' attention, it was its orbit. With an eccentricity of 1.15, SWAN's path is hyperbolic, meaning it's not bound to our sun. It's a one-way traveler slingshotting around the sun and speeding out of our solar system, never to return. Picture a stone skipped across a cosmic pond, never settling into a predictable orbit. Its steep inclination of 111 degrees further sets it apart, slicing through the solar system's plane like a rogue arrow. Swan's story is one of escape, a fleeting visitor from the depths of space. What forces sent it our way, and what does its journey tell us about the galaxy? Now, let's shift gears to 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to grace our solar system. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas survey team in Chile caught a faint streak moving at a blistering 58 kilometers per second, over 130,000 miles per hour. That's twice the speed of most comets born in our solar system's Oort cloud. Unlike Swan, which barely crossed the threshold of escape velocity, 3i slash Atlas is a true interstellar bullet, unbound by our sun's gravity from the moment it arrived. Its trajectory, angled at 43 degrees to the ecliptic, cuts through our solar system like a knife, never aligning with the orderly paths of planets or typical comets. The Atlas team's quick alert allowed the James Webb Space Telescope to lock onto this fleeting visitor, capturing data that would stun the astronomical community. At its closest, 3i slash Atlas passed 1.8 astronomical units from Earth, close enough to study but far enough to pose no threat. The odds of catching such a fast-moving object are astronomical, yet here it was, a cosmic speedster racing through our neighborhood. What makes 3i slash Atlas so special, and why does its chemistry echo swans in ways that defy explanation? The real bombshell came when the James Webb Space Telescope turned its spectrograph on 3i slash Atlas. Expecting the usual water vapor signature of comets, scientists instead found a coma dominated by carbon dioxide 16 times more than any solar system comet at a similar distance. The carbon dioxide column density measured 7.6, with a margin of error of just 0.3, a value so high it rewrote the rulebook on comet chemistry. Water, usually the star of the show in comets, was barely detectable. This wasn't just an oddity. It was a challenge to everything we thought we knew about how comets form. Most comets condense beyond the water ice line where temperatures allow water to freeze, but 3i slash Atlas's carbon dioxide dominance suggests it formed far beyond, in a frigid region near the carbon dioxide ice line, around minus 193 degrees Celsius. This points to a birthplace in a distant star system with a chemistry unlike our own. Could 3i slash Atlas have formed in a protostellar disk where carbon dioxide reigns supreme? 
the James Webb team ran multiple calibration checks, ruling out errors. This wasn't a glitch. It was a cosmic clue begging us to rethink the origins of interstellar objects. Comet Swan, meanwhile, told a different but equally compelling story. In April 2020, its hydrogen flare lit up ultraviolet mass. <laughs> but what stole the show was its dust production. 30,000 kilograms per second, enough to fill an Olympic swimming pool every hour. Unlike most comets where gas outshines dust, Swan was a dust factory scattering sunlight and boosting its brightness. This high dust-to-gas ratio flipped the script on typical comet behavior, making Swan a gritty, sunlit spectacle. The European Space Agency's analysts tracked this outburst frame by frame, noting how Swan's coma swelled with fine particles. Compared to 3I-Atlas's carbon dioxide-heavy profile, Swan's dust-dominated signature seemed worlds apart. Yet, when scientists overlaid their spectra, something astonishing emerged. A 92% overlap in their chemical fingerprints, with a statistical significance so strong it ruled out chance. Both comets shared key molecular bands, carbon dioxide, water ice, and faint traces of carbon monoxide. This wasn't just a coincidence. It was a cosmic connection demanding answers. How could two objects, one a solar system escapee and the other an interstellar interloper, share such a precise chemical signature? To understand, let's picture a massive comet nucleus, five kilometers wide, drifting in the void between stars. Now imagine a catastrophic collision, a supernova shockwave, a planetary smash-up, or the tidal pull of a passing star. Impact models show that such an event could shatter the nucleus, sending fragments flying at different speeds. Some pieces escape entirely, becoming interstellar wanderers like 3i Atlas. Others, like Swan, might linger in their home system before a gravitational nudge sends them our way. Each fragment carries the same chemical makeup, a frozen record of its origin. The 92% spectral match between Swan and 3i Atlas, with a p-value below 0.01, suggests they could be shards of the same ancient body, scattered across light years and millennia. This isn't science fiction, it's a hypothesis grounded in orbital mechanics and astrochemistry, pointing to a cosmic event that linked these comets long before they reached our sun. The chemical clues don't stop there. The James Webb Space Telescope detected a subtle anomaly in 3i Atlas, a nickel isotope ratio unlike anything seen in solar system comets. Swan's spectrum showed faint echoes of the same isotopic quirk. Nickel, forged in the hearts of stars, acts like a cosmic barcode, revealing the type of star system where these comets were born. The mismatch with our solar system's chemistry suggests a distant origin, perhaps around a star with a different nuclear history. This isotopic fingerprint strengthens the case that Swan and 3i Atlas share a common heritage, possibly debris from a cataclysmic event in another star system. Think of it as finding two letters in different mailboxes, written in the same rare ink. The odds of this happening by chance are vanishingly small, pushing scientists to consider a shared origin, a cosmic family reunion played out across the galaxy. The orbital paths of these comets add another layer to the mystery. Swan's hyperbolic trajectory and 3i Atlas's blistering speed resemble the precise arcs engineers plot for spacecraft like Voyager. Both comets thread through our solar system with a finesse that seems almost intentional, skimming planetary orbits without colliding. Swan's outbound climb avoids all planets, while 3i Atlas passes just 0.3 astronomical units from Jupiter, a cosmic bullseye. Such precision is rare for random objects prompting some to wonder if nature could mimic the efficiency of human-designed flybys. While there's no evidence of artificial guidance, the similarity to mission trajectories is striking. Could these paths hint at a deeper order in the chaos of interstellar travel? Or is it just a statistical fluke? The data invites us to keep asking questions even if the answers remain elusive. Then there's the curious case of 3i Atlas's dust plume, most comets vent dust in a predictable direction pushed back by solar radiation, but 3i Atlas's plume veers at an odd angle, defying the sun's influence. Polarimetric studies confirm this isn't an illusion. It's as if the comet is steering its outflow. Mainstream scientists attribute this to uneven heating or hidden fractures, 
but a few, like Harvard's Avi Loeb, raise bolder questions. Could this be a sign of physics we don't yet understand or even a hint of something engineered? While the idea of an artificial origin is speculative, the anomaly challenges our models of comet behavior. Every unexpected jet of dust is a puzzle piece, urging us to look closer at what these objects might be hiding. What's next for this cosmic mystery? The chemistry of 3i slash Atlas, particularly its complex organics, has astrobiologists buzzing. These molecules, preserved in ice for billions of years, could hold the building blocks of life. Mission planners are already sketching out a 2035 launch to intercept a future interstellar visitor using high-speed flybys and dust collectors inspired by missions like Stardust. Imagine bringing back a few grams of material from another star system, amino acids, sugars, or other prebiotic compounds that could rewrite our understanding of life's origins. Meanwhile, NASA's Artemis program is exploring crewed missions to study comets up close with astronauts collecting samples in real time. The dream is bold, humans touching the remnants of a distant world carrying clues to our cosmic past. As we wrap up, let's reflect on what SWAN and 3i slash Atlas tell us. Their shared chemistry, with a 92% spectral match and a carbon dioxide ratio 16 times higher than typical comets, points to a possible common origin. Their hyperbolic orbits, SWAN at 1.15 eccentricity and 3i slash Atlas at 58 kilometers per second, mark them as cosmic outsiders. Yet, unanswered questions linger. Are they fragments of a shattered world? Could their chemistry hold the seeds of life? The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a glimpse into the universe's deeper story, but it's only the beginning. These comets remind us that our solar system is a crossroads, visited by travelers bearing tales of distant stars. So, what do you think? Could SWAN and 3i slash Atlas be cosmic siblings? Or is there a stranger explanation waiting? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit like, and subscribe for more space adventures. The universe is full of mysteries, and we're just getting started.